Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with learning Scratch, we are continuing with making Scratch tutorials and in this lesson today we are going to try to learn how and when to use Scratch block which is named round. Okay, let's go to Scratch to see that in action. Internet is a little bit slow today, but I think we will make it and this lesson should be relatively short, okay uh, The block which we are going to explain today is one of the operators block green one It's uh, called round so let's click and drag it to our left window to programming window I have selected the scratch cat but you can select whatever sprite you want and let's see what this scratch block does in action if I click on it it says zero okay that makes no sense let's put some kind of value in it for example 45 and it says 45 so Again, that doesn't make much sense. Why? Because this number 45, it's already round. What does it mean to be round for a number? It means it's a whole number. It doesn't have decimal point here and some kind of other value here like um, something like that. So you see, if I click now, now it says 46. Why is that so? Because once we clicked on 45 alone it was 45 that makes sense that's the whole number but when i say 45.5 it makes it 46 why is that so uh, this uh, this block this scratch blocks uh, makes your decimal point into whole numbers it rounds them and that's why it's called round because it make a decimal point decimal point number round whole number simple as that so uh, that's one thing to learn and the second is uh, when it's going to uh, turn my number into bigger or smaller numbers so for example if I type 45.1 it will make it 45 same for 45.2.3 Point four all along and you can type whatever number behind 4 if you want it will still be 45 but if you say 45.5 or higher it will turn into a higher number in our case it's 46 but if for example it <coughs> here we had 9.5 9 sorry it we and click on run it will turn it into 10 simple as that same for 6 7 8 and 9 so point 0.5 is the limit so if you type point 0.5 it will turn your number decimal number into higher whole number but if you type something lower than 0.5 like 49 it will stay lower number okay that's it that's what this scratch block does and uh, why are we learning it today uh, one of the reason is because we have to learn all the blocks here in scratch and the second reason is because I don't like how this timer here on our stage looks if you have watched our previous lesson since we have learned about this sorry about this sensing block timer which is here a blue one and you can check and uncheck the box to show it on the screen and it it is used for counting uh, time for counting your seconds on the screen as a timer for your game but the problem is it looks kind of ugly it it's decimal so it doesn't say one po uh, one second two seconds three seconds and so on but it uh, 
it uh, says 1.1234 seconds and so on it's uh, announcing time in decimal numbers i don't like that i want whole numbers so i will try to round that and this timer here in my programming window does the same but i have to click on it to see what time is it now anyway you can see when i click on it i have decimal number so it's now is 50 seconds point one eight three one fifty four point six eight seven fifty seven point one six four and so on so I don't like this decimal points and the time ri runs fast that's that's for sure I don't know if these are seconds maybe a little bit faster we will check that out later anyway I don't want them to be in decimal simple as that I want them round so this scratch block is built-in variable if you don't know what variable is uh, check out our previous video and we are going to put it here into round block simple as that so now when I click on it it says one, I will reset it here now and it says one three four it's a little bit faster than seconds probably but anyway it's round it, that's what I wanted we have a round timer now which looks great but I still don't have it here on our stage why is that so because I can check it or uncheck it here but this is just for my use here just for my testing as we said before I can test all those scratch block here without attaching them into my code but now I want them to be visible on the screen and that's why I want to show it on the screen and use it 24 7 all the time okay uh, if you have followed uh, if you have followed followed our previous lessons you probably have a lot lot of code here for the cat and one of them uh, code block which we can use here is say block which we have already here in our forever block so just click and drag this round timer here into say and I think it will work yeah so you can see this is one of the ways to show this timer on the screen the cat will now count the time all the time through the game I will probably delete it uh, later because I don't need it but for this lesson not to make it too long it's more than good enough for this video and this scratch block so we have learned how to round numbers decimal decimal numbers uh, we have learned that uh, uh, 0.5 is the uh, limit is the which will change your number to higher value and we have learned how to round the the timer which is great and I I think it's more than enough for this video. I will stop it here and that's it. And I hope I will see you in next lessons and next videos. Until then, keep on learning, keep on scratching and keep on sharing your knowledge. Bye for now.